and then we'll answer some questions. Yeah, I got a live top secret. So here's some top secrets. You can just say what these are really fast. We'll play one video. Okay. Um, actually, I'll take care of this one. Uh, this is our new 2.9 inch e-ink featherwing. It's part of our Think Ink series. We do a lot with e-ink. We are doing a lot more. It is on its way. Got a new SHT31 um, board for um, that's uh, stomach UT compatible. Um, I wanted to uh, to uh, get more designs converted over, so this one is the latest one that's going to be coming out. Yeah, um, we post these up so you can check them out on our social medias or whatever. But this is like, guess what we sent off? This is a panel party. It's a panel party, so you can guess what all the things are on there. And, and then we have uh, a, a coming soon product. Don't ask; it's not out yet. Okay, lady, what is this? Hey, I'm testing out this voice bonnet with the Google Assistant. Hey Google, what is Adafruit? According to Wikipedia, Adafruit Industries is an open source hardware company based in New York City. It was founded by Limmer Fried in 2005. The company designs, manufactures, and sells a number of electronics products, electronics components, tools, and accessories. All right, cool. thank you, Google. So this voice bonnet adds stereo speaker output, stereo microphone, a button RGB LEDs, and an I2C port. So this stem IQT connector means I can add things like an OLED display. So when I ask the Google Assistant something, it'll actually print out what it thinks I'm saying. That's kind of a cool way to add more accessibility to uh, voice assistants. It's kind of a mini version of our BrainCraft hat. All right, and then uh, this is a big deal. This is coming soon. Um, so this is the ESP32 S2 Express. Uh, Scott helped me out by making a board definition, and it's got an ESP32 S2 Rover. It has DC in. That means Wi-Fi. It has battery power and recharging, so you can um, you can plug in a battery and take this project on the go. Cause it's wireless, so I felt like it's kind of important. And um, there's a NeoPixel. Um, there's a Stem IQT connector. There's a reset button here. A couple LEDs, uh, an on-off um, switch, which I think is is handy for wireless projects. And it's going to be ready to go really soon. This was Rev A, but I kind of like, you know, did a good job, I think, or something, because I, I kind of got most things right. Only the red LED got misconnected. I got to fix that one um, thing. There's also a debug port over here, uh, optional if you want to solder an SWD connector. It's JTAG, but on a two point, you know, two by five uh, SWD connector package. So you'll be able to um, use this with an external debugger like a JLink as well. Okay. Coming soon. Don't ask, it's not out. Back in the vault. Get in the vault. All right.